what is going on guys um I'm here today to show you uh, a Doctor Who uh, video game that was recently put up for experimental idea uh, um, ex it's an experimental game at this current moment and um I've played a few games of it this is actually my second time recording this as uh, my voice wasn't cut into the other one so I've got two programs running at the same time now um but um this is Doctor Who Don't Blink. Now, basically, it will use your webcam to see if you're blinking or looking away. And if you blink or look away, obviously, an angel will get closer to you, which is generally quite a cool idea to use your webcam and to make it quite immersive. It's very Five Nights at Freddy's. We're checking, um, we're checking cameras, um, but you know, it's very more. It's way more immersive than uh, Five Nights at Freddy's was, but you know. Don't get me wrong, I love Five Nights Freddy's, but this is what it should have been like. Um, but yeah, so you have to survive as long as you can until the TARDIS arrives. And you also have to take the TARDIS key. So it should load up a tutorial right now. Yeah, so staring into webcam stops the angels from moving. It'll, I'll warn you when you blink or look away. Let's test it works. If I take my glasses off, it might. Yeah, there we go. It picks it up a lot better. Okay. Hold down the number keys to see CCTV around the house. Switch when the camera flashes red to stop the angels. Ah, I didn't realize that. <laughs> Switch when the camera flashes red right to stop the angels. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, and four. So we've got basement, corridor, kitchen, and nursery. Okay. One of the weeping angels has the tile has the key to the tireless when it when it and the tireless are both in the attic, hit K to escape. Uh okay. So when I, when the tireless just lands, just click K. Okay. Okay, let's do this. As you can see, we've got a little TARDIS bar at the top. That chair up at the bottom. One's there. I'm not, I'm not kidding. This game is impossible to win, by the way. Get my hand on K. I can see the TARDIS thing in the bottom of my eye. Yeah. Okay. Let's go again. There you are. I see you. I see you all the way down there. Hi. 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 the longer you look at the webcams the uh, you know well, 
this number three here. Come on, two. Just need four and two. Just two to join the party. Toss is almost here. I'm gonna get ready to click K. Shit. I swear, if two's the one with the TARDIS key. Oh, come on, two. This world on the angels are quantum locked forever. You survive 51 seconds. That is um, Doctor Who. Don't blink, guys. Um, please go show this game some love. I think it's generally a good idea for a Doctor Who game. Obviously, it's it is an experimental, so it is a bit buggy around the edges. But I generally think this could. Um, Start a a, tr a chain of um, of Doctor Who games, hopefully in the future, um, as we haven't had a proper Doctor Who game since the Adventure Games back in like 2010, 2011. Uh, so it was like you know five or six years ago now. It was with Matt Smith. Uh, they those were brilliant, and uh, we need stuff like that again. We need Doctor Who games again. Um, so you know. Go show, go show this game some love. Check it out for yourself. You know, see if you enjoy it. Uh, I thought, I think, it is generally a good idea. I think if the uh, the looking away and blink had like a better um, system to it, maybe, um, like how it tracked it, because it didn't seem to track it very well. Yes, it is an experimental, but if they, you know, when that gets um, properly implemented and uh, put out and it will track it really well I think this game will be uh, quite tough as you will actually have to not blink or look away from the webcam which is generally quite a good idea and uh, yeah so go show this game some love go check it out links in the description below for you guys to play yourself and uh, you know tell me what you think in the comments See, tell me if you like it or not um, so yeah hope you enjoyed this quick video for you guys and uh, I shall see you in the next one. Bye.